Are you tired of having water spots every time you're done washing your car? So you might be living in an area where you have hard water issues or you wash your car outside, sometimes in direct sunlight, you have no other choice. And once that water evaporates, it leaves nasty water spots behind. And by the way, those water spots are mineral deposits. And if left unattended or left to cake or bake onto the paint, well, they can etch through the clear coat and leave some permanent damage on your paint. So today I have a simple, easy to install solution, basically a water deionizer system that is even mobile so you can cart it around. Very simple to install and to set up. In a few minutes, you'll be good to go. And what it gives you, it provides 100% mineral-free water or deionized water for a basically a spotless car wash, right? So once you're done washing your car, you rinse the vehicle, you can technically even just walk away because there are no minerals left in the water and you can let it dry on its own and you'll have the best experience. Also, you're, you're going to have more suds, more foam and all that good stuff when you're washing your car because the products or the shampoos or the snow foams in your foam cannon, if you're using that as a pre-wash, will not have to fight off any minerals that are contained in the water. So you're going to get, again, more suds, a thicker, uh, lusher experience when you're using a foam cannon and you're going to just have a better overall experience. So I'm here to talk about this uh, guy here. And by the way, a uh, quick disclosure, this is not a sponsored video. So I wasn't paid to do this video. I actually ordered this item myself. And what it is, it is the CR Spotless water system. So a this is the DIC20 high output system. It goes for roughly 410 USD. And what it comes with, well, basically everything that you need. So it has this cart that is powder coated and rust free. So it comes on this cart, like I said, that you can wheel around because it comes on these wheels. So it's never going to rust because it's powder coated, super nice finish, very sturdy. So metal body. It has these two 20 inch canisters into which is contained the resin that is needed to deionize the water or to remove all the minerals for the water. It has a water purity indicator that is battery operated. So a TDS monitor to show you, uh, well, if you have zero PPM or particles per million of minerals in your water, that's what you're looking for, right? Uh, and so it is battery operated. You have the on off switch here. And when you start to use your water, you can test and you should see zero PPM on the screen. We'll see that in just a few seconds. It has a nice handle. Uh, it comes with the water inlet hose, so stainless steel braided that you simply connect to your water bib. And then the outlet, well, you take your garden hose that you have that goes to your uh, hose reel. Or in my case, I also connect that to my pressure washer when need be. And that's pretty much it. Uh, it comes with the tool, so this guy here, to remove the canisters and to secure them back into place. And the resin is replaceable, so you can get bags of resin. I think they go for roughly 140 bucks uh, to have two um, resin replacements. And when you see that you're over 0.1 ppm, that's when you know that you have a little bit of mineral content and you should change the resins. By the way, these are good for 300 gallons of um, deionized water, so quite a high output. It'll last for quite a long time. So I've been testing this now uh, for quite a few weeks. In my own house, I had a um, water softener system. So that was great. I never had any water uh, problem issues or hard water to begin with. So it's a brand new home, brand new development. And the water was pretty st uh, soft to start off with, but I still added a water softener. Uh, so I don't have any streaking in my glass shower and uh, not any mineral deposits uh, in my appliances. However, even a water softener system does still have a bit of minerals left in it. So you don't get 100% deionized water as you would with this. So I decided to add this to test this and uh, well to basically help you guys to find solutions because I know a lot of my viewers depending on where you are around the world might have hard water issues where you live. So very high content of minerals in the water and you're just struggling when you're washing your vehicles because not everyone has a garage that is uh, meant to be detail uh, to be doing some detailing inside like I'm lucky enough to have. So uh, most of people will normally wash wash their cars outside and well often you have to tackle the elements especially the sun and when that happens the water dries and evaporates before you have time to get to dry your vehicle correctly or quickly and then you have mineral deposits so those water stains or water spots that are left on your vehicle and that's a nasty thing because they can etch through the clear coat and eventually uh, will start uh, leaving some permanent damage on there. Also uh, you might notice that you have less suds when you're uh, using your shampoo if you have hard water or also if you're using 
a foam cannon, you might not have a thick and rich shaving cream type foam uh, because while well, the uh, shampoos or the snow foams are fighting with those minerals and they don't uh, perform well enough. So by having a deionizing system, you get 100% mineral free water. So it's not only great to dry off your vehicle because you can let it dry, uh, air dry if you want. If you don't want to dry it yourself, it's not going to leave any uh, minerals behind or any water spots. But it's also fantastic once again uh, to have uh, more suds, more lather, a better foam when you're using it on your vehicle. So just an overall better experience and you'll never have to tackle or worry about water spots ever again. So let's have a look at the system a bit closely now. Okay guys, so this is the CR Spotless DIC20 high output a water deionizer system. So it comes with this mobile unit on wheels with a handle here with a rubber grip that you can move around to whatever spot you want to have it uh, installed to. You can even have the wall mounted version which is basically the same thing without the rolling cart. So you have areas to bolt this uh, into, the, to, into the wall. You have the TDS monitor or the uh, mineral content monitor if you want to monitor how much uh, mineral content there is in the water and it's pretty simple so you have a water inlet so this hose here the stainless steel braided that comes with the kit connects to your hose bib just like so so the water comes in here it goes through the two canisters that can filter up to 300 gallons of water and by the way uh, you have to make sure that you don't use a pressure washer that has more than 2.5 gallons per minute of water output because this is the limit of this system the majority of the consumer grade pressure washers uh, use anywhere from one to two gallons per minute of water output so you should be fine uh, even my high-end Krenzla 1122 TST uh, has an output of 2.1 gallons per minute of water so it's perfectly fine so up to 2.5 gpm that this can handle of water flow and then you have the output on this side and this basically is your garden hose right so this goes up to your garden hose reel and that can connect to either uh, a water gun like this that I use or your pressure washer depending on your needs and then when you turn on the water like I will now there you go so you have this mineral free water and you have this monitor here that you look at and you can turn it on so again guys as the water is running as you can tell here zero ppm on your TDS monitor or your water purity monitor so that tells you that there are zero minerals in the water that is being outputted and the way to know that your resin is done as soon as you see this number go to 0 0.1 or higher that's when you know that it's time to change the resin so changing the uh, filtering media or the resin that's contained in these canisters is very simple when it's time so you grab your supplied tool this basically slides into here and you use it as a ratchet to remove the uh, canisters of course make sure that uh, your water supply is turned off and that the uh, it's empty of water and then you remove the canister and in there you're going to basically find the resin and you can order some replacement bags just like this so either from the website or once again, I'll leave the links in the description under the video for you guys. Check them out. Super easy. So you dump the old one in a garbage bag. Make sure you don't spill them on the ground because they're quite slippery. They're non-toxic, so that's no problem. Uh, but don't drop them on the floor because they're super slippery. And then you're going to be putting that uh, new resin in. And that's as easy as it gets. You put back the metal retaining clip that's in there. It basically helps to align it with the top cylinder. You start screwing it back in. You tighten it up once again with the supplied tool and that's it you're good to go you change both of these resins and fantastic uh, by the way uh, a lot of people had questions of if you have a water softener system at home does this system still work well I reached out to uh, CR spotless and their answer was that yes it can work even if you have a water softener system at home uh, just keep in mind that there might be some chemical changes in the resins and you might uh, start to feel like a rotten egg type of smell so a foul smell eventually I still haven't experienced that so so far so good uh, but it's still compatible and it will be working fine so if you're tired of having water spotting issues you want a uh, di water or a deionized system that doesn't cost thousands of dollars like by the way my um, system for my house or my water softener system for the entire house uh, cost a few thousand bucks so in comparison for 410 dollars an easy solution that you can quickly connect to your hose bib and that you can quickly connect your garden hose to and in a matter of minutes you're set up with a hundred percent mineral free water that's pretty awesome uh, so 
Yeah, I think it's pretty much, I'm sure it's built in the USA, so very sturdy. Uh, it has this, once again, powder coated uh, metal frame that will not rust, that is rust free. This one here is the mobile unit with some wheels, so you can lug it around. You can also have the wall mounted version that costs a bit less. Uh, if you don't want the 300 gallon high output system like this one, you can get the uh, more entry level DIC uh, 10, so the DIC 10, no jokes guys. The DIC 10 version, I think that one can do 150 or 200 gallons uh, of uh, total water output. So you can check that out for a few less bucks, but I really recommend this one, the DIC 20. Uh, the wall mounted version is the DIW 20. Again, no worries. I'll include all those links in the description for you guys to check them out. Uh, but so in my testing so far, uh, even with my own Porsche left outside in the baking sun, when I'm doing the final rinse with this or even just the entire washing experience, it is what they promise. So zero PPM or zero mineral content, fully deionized water. You can let it air dry and there's absolutely not a single water spot on the vehicle so there you go an easy solution uh, if you by the way want to find out more solutions if you're washing your vehicle in the sunlight I made a video recently about tips and tricks on how you can clean your car outside so not only a DI system but a bunch of other tips and tricks and products and tools and things to help you guys have a better experience so I'll leave a link to that video in the description under this video uh, so you guys can go ahead and watch that and uh, yeah so this is a pretty awesome Awesome setup for you to have if you have a DI system uh, maybe it's not the CR spotless maybe it's another brand let me know if you guys are using those and which brands and models you're using it's always good for the community to, to share what is available and what my viewers have and I like to always have your feedback so drop a comment in the comment section under this video and uh, yeah hopefully well you'll get to enjoy a uh, water spot free car washing experience and uh, so that's it for me and I'll see you guys on the next one